my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today we have the self-care bag. This is the second one I've ever received. So if you're interested in seeing what's in here, please stay tuned. Hey, my beautiful wildflowers, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Well, it's been a busy week and I'm trying to get these unboxings cranked out as soon as possible as they come in. But unfortunately, I have more boxings, unboxings, I mean, boxings, no, unboxings than I do have days in a week. So sometimes I have to throw then these extra, uh, you know, unboxings to video day. So anyway, without further ado, as you all know, this is the self-care um, sack and uh, this is a monthly and you can subscribe for it monthly by three months, six months or a year. And uh, this equals to $34.99 a month. And I believe if you go a little bit longer as far as a whole year's worth, you do get a discount just like all the other bags. And there is no profile or anything unlike um, Ipsy or with BoxyCharm. This is just, um, it's all of the same everybody has the same products of course unless they run out of something which they may have to replace so um let's get it open so guys how are you guys doing are you guys excited for the weekend a weekday or something i mean i'm excited about just being here so anyway Okay, as you know, I think you've seen this from my last opening. It looks like it's the same bag. I guess it doesn't change at all. This is only my second one, so, you know, I don't know. But this is the same bag I got last time. So, let's see uh, what's inside. Hopefully, it's a different something on the inside, right? So, yeah. So, it looks like right away, ooh, it's full. Okay, so, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and let me see if there's a card or anything. I don't think there is. No, not here anyway. And um, let me see if I can dig around because I want this to be a surprise. Ouch, what was that? <laughs> okay, all right, maybe I shouldn't do it like that. Um, okay, I don't feel a card right away. Oh, hold on. Nope, that's not a card. So let's just go ahead and try to pull it out one at a time. Oh, this is so cute. The first thing I pull out is a ribbon. Oh my, this is a headband. It looks like not a ribbon, but it's bowed into a ribbon. I'm sorry about that. I'm probably making a lot and a lot of noise here. Yeah. Oh, this is very cute. You guys know how I like this, right? So let's see. You know what? Let's go with it. What do you think? Oh, they have a little like a look. I can make like devil horns. Eh. <laughs> it's got a little like a, you know, okie dokie then. Okay, let's do Dumbo. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that. Okay, okay, I, mean, I can spend hours playing with this thing. Okay, the next thing in here, it looks like a, oh, I like this. This is a silicon paddle brush. And these actually are great for when you're using um, any kind of cream products or serum products and just dig in there. So I hate putting my fingers into like jars. And so I have like tons of these um, hanging around, but you know, I could always use more because I'm having to use the same one with a couple of different things. So yeah. Okay, that's great. And then the next couple of things here, it seems like a dermal charcoal collagen essence mask. It's written in Japanese. I wonder if it's, um, yeah, it's in written in Japanese here as well. So I'm, I, you know, so is a lot of the Korean brands. So maybe, um, I'm not sure where this one is made because it is also written in Korean in the back. So anyway, this looks like a charcoal collagen essence mask and there is one inside. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try next time, you know, I do a mask. So very interesting, you know how I love me my mask. And here's another one here, but oh, I love these. I really love these, they're foot masks, foot masks. And especially the ones, if they're the peel type, it's really nice. This is a moisturizing foot mask though. And this is by a company named Kala. I started seeing that company, actually, the first time I ever seen this brand, you know, is at um, TJ Maxx the other day. And I was like, mm, I don't know them, so I didn't buy anything by them. So this is great, just give me an opportunity to give it a try. Yeah, okay, foot mask, yep, I can always use that. And then the next thing in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything out. Oh. Okay, is 
a some kind of a sack. It's love and happiness lay and play makeup bag. It's centage. Oh, that's in my in French. So anyway, it looks like this. Can you see it, guys? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bug. Bug just flew out of there. It's dead actually, but I don't like that. Look, seriously, look, look, it's a bug. It fell out the package. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of like make sure there's nothing living here or no eggs popped out of that thing. So anyway, so it is a, um, it looks like a circular bag here. Sorry about that little distraction there, but you know, you know how that goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't like bugs. Not that I'm afraid of them because I'm not, but I don't like them because, you know, they can really mess up a house. So anyway, let me make sure, let me pull this out really carefully because they do keep these things in storage, you know, so especially warehouses, you don't know. Okay, that's that. And it looks like, wow, what the heck? Look at this. It's like, hold on a minute here. It's like huge, huge, like a round thingy. See, can you see? So anyway, yeah, I guess this is some kind of a makeup bag, but I'm going to have to check out how that works because it folds nicely, though. I don't know if it's something that, um, yeah, it folds nicely into a little square. See? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check that out later. And as usual, she does send a Ghirardelli. You remember? I just went to Ghirardelli, so look, a Ghirardelli chocolate, and this one is actually dark chocolate mint. I'll have to give it to my husband because I'm on my keto thing, and so I can't have it. Yeah, I started back again after I had my Sunday. I had to. <laughs> okay. And here I found the two cards now. Of course, it's the same one that she usually sends like this. It has a picture of her, um, girl boss. And then, um, let me see, self care checklist. This is what I love about, uh, a little bit. I love about this bag is these things. And so let's see what it says. Okay. Self care checklist. Make time for yourself. Check. Move your body. Half a check. Listen or play music. Half a check. Say no and feel peace in saying it. Oh yeah, double check. Get enough sleep. Half a check. Do something your future self would thank you for. Double check. I'm talking to you guys. So anyway, it's cute, right? I mean, it's just, and then there's like a saying in the back. Let's see what it says. It says, there is only one happiness in life, to love and to be loved. So, yeah, this is so nice. See, I love these self-care things. And, um, you know, I, I'm glad that I got this in time to open on Self-Care Saturday. And so, yeah. And let's see. What is the last thing I have here is by Illuminati. And it looks like a lip gloss of some kind. Here it is. It's very interesting. Yeah, this could be a weapon. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> it's just crazy. So, anyway, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I think that's it in the bag. So, I got, let's do a recap. I got this huge bag, whatever it is. The paddle, silicon paddle, lip gloss, Ghirardelli chocolate mint, charcoal foot mask, and charcoal face mask. And along with that, I received the, I received it all in this bag okay so anyhow that's that and what oh, wait a minute one more thing popped out okay it's this is cute this is like a rubbing okay yeah it's a silicon like uh you know for your face you put it like this and then you just like rub you know rub 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 to clean yeah very interesting oh and then and this i forgot about that it's on my head you guys are like yeah don't forget the headband okay i figured out what this is not that not not that i figured it out it's if I would just read, right? It is what is called a lay and play makeup bag. So what you do is you open this humongo thing. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see this part. Okay. Okay, can you see that? It's round, right? You take this and you actually can lay everything out on top of it so you can see everything there. And then when you're finished, you just like pull this and it becomes a bag. So that way all your makeup can be laid out and you can see it instead of looking into the bag like piece at a time. And it comes with this little, you know, in case you have a fluid filled or something that's fluid, you don't want it to leak. You have this piece here. There it is. Okay. So, okay. Now I know what it is. So I, it was bothering me. I was like, oh, what is that? 
Okay, and I hope you like this bag. I like it pretty good. The first one I was really unsure about and I was thinking, you know, I don't think I want to renew this bag unless it gets better. And so this was a much better bag, I can say that. So I'm happy with that so far. And another thing too, since we're here and it is, you know, the self-care Saturday, we need to do the cards. I almost forgot. Let's not forget. So anyway, as you guys know, those of you that's been watching me, we do a weekly mindfulness cards on Saturdays. And so today is Saturday. It's self-care Saturday. So we're going to do it. And then from last week, we had one that's called What Will Happen Next? And in case you, you didn't see that one, I'm going to go ahead and read to you what this was, okay? And so it says, asking what will happen next can be very powerful. Just by inviting the question, we prime our minds to be on a lookout like a cat waiting for a a cat waiting at a hole for a mouse to come out with your body relaxed and eyes open try asking yourself this question and carefully watch your mind to see what grabs its attention what does it move or where does it move what is the next thought that arises what prompted it and i did do this and it's it's not as easy as it sounds you know, you sit down and you kind of relax and you look around and you say, okay, what's next? And then all of a sudden, a bunch of, you know, uninvited thoughts starts coming into your head. And that's what happened to me at least. And I'm thinking, okay, no, no, I think I'm defeating the whole purpose of this exercise and I'm just supposed to relax and like, what's going to happen? You know, what's next? And then all of a sudden, you know, I look over and boom, something's going to happen. At least that's the way I thought of it, but I don't know. And, and so, um, yeah, this was a little harder than um, I anticipated. So did you guys have any luck with it? If you did, put it below. And all I know is what will happen next um, could be kind of tricky, you guys. And I thought about this, of course, because I think about everything to nauseam, um, is that you can actually create anxiety for yourself if you think too much like what will happen next. I mean, if you don't get that piece about relaxing and just letting the thoughts flow in, all of a sudden I start you know, thinking about, oh my gosh, I have this deadline, that deadline, and all these things are rushing in. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I have anxiety kicking here. And so you have to be really, really careful. And you know, this should come with warnings in these cards. But uh, anyway, I discovered that. So I want to let you know when you're inviting things in, like what will happen next, make sure you're in a good headspace and make sure that you are actually totally relaxed and you're not like doing this, you know, in between Zoom calls. Um, yeah, because it's not going to work. So anyway, I just want to give you that little um, warning, okay? So having said that, let's go ahead and pick another one for next week. And let's do something in the, let's see, what section is this? This is the insight and awareness. Okay, so let's pick one from the middle. Insight and awareness. Come on. Fingers work. Okay. No intention. No, not N-O, but no. No intention. I like that because I like the word intention. Hmm. So what does this say about that? Okay, it says everything we do starts with an intention. A small movement of the mind that starts a chain reaction and ends in a full-blown action. Most of the time, these intentions are all lovely and good, and often they're not even, you were not even aware of our intentions at all. But sometimes our intentions are a little bit more negative than we like them to be. Try putting some energy into recognizing your intentions and the thought behind your decisions. This will give you the power to either act on them or not, instead of operating on intention autopilot. You know, this is very important because, um, in Islam, uh, intention is everything. If you have good intentions to do something and you go forward and the outcome is bad, you don't get the ding for the outcome, but you get the rewards for the intention because you had good intentions on doing something. Something might have went awry and then something negative happened. But that's not what you're going to get ding done because in your heart, you know, you meant well. And so intention is very important. And so I'm glad this kind of came up because, um, yeah, I always try to approach everything with good intentions. And like when we have a meeting that might be a little bit touchy, um, might be a little bit, um, 
point fingerish type of thing. I make sure I let people know we all have good intentions here and we need to remember that we all have good intentions. So whatever is said or whatever is thought, please just make sure you check yourself and have those intentions, you know, ahead of time. So that way you're not caught up. And so, yeah, this is actually a very good, very good card. So, well, my beautiful wildflowers, try it out. And tell me what you think. Put it below. Okay? Alrighty. So I don't want to take any more of your time because I'm sure you guys want to run around and do some great things on a Saturday. If you're watching this on a Saturday, that is. But anyhow, as usual, if you like the video and I added any value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of the Wildflower family. And I want you guys to have a good day. Good evening. Good night. Good week, good weekend, regardless of whenever you're watching this. Just remember, never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.